Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching The Book Dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you 10 tips which I follow in order to buy books at low prices. You might have seen that I have a pretty decent collection of books right now, but it was not the same a year ago. But uh, I started using these 10 tips which I follow right now in order to buy a lot of books. Uh, books are normally expensive, but uh, if you follow these 10 tips which I say, you will be able to find books at low rates always and you will be able to increase your collection a lot. So without any further ado, let's get into the tips. Tip number one, save a lot and don't buy books often. Now this is a tip which you have to keep in mind always. Now I usually allocate a small amount of money every month in order to buy books. That is I allocate like 1000 rupees per month in order to buy books. But uh, the thing is that I don't buy books every month. I just accumulate the 1000 rupees over a period of 2 to 3 months then I'll be having like 2 to 3000 on the whole right and apart from that I might also get extra money from some other sources and it will add on to that budget. What happens then is that uh, if you buy books every month the prices are normally high than uh, the times when there is a huge book sale going on. So what I usually do is I just uh, save up the money and accumulate it and uh, when there is a sale going on I try to buy books then. Uh, this helps me because when I save money, I'll be having a lot more in hand and while you have 500 rupees or 1000 rupees in your hand, when you try to buy books, you'll be able to buy like 3 or 4 books max. But uh, when you're having three, uh, sorry, two to 3000 rupees which have been saved up and when there's a sale also going on, there's a great ch uh, chance that you'll be getting at least 3 to 4 books uh, for the same rate. Uh, than you get in a normal uh, day. So always don't buy books often, just uh, allocate a small amount of money and accumulate it in order to buy books during sales. My tip number two, this is a tip that I have been using the most in order to uh, increase my collection and uh, widen the genre of books which I have and it is to buy used books. I'm totally not at all against buying used books because just for the uh, single reason that some other person has owned the book before, uh, we get really good books that is books in a really good condition uh, for most of the times like half the price okay uh, so i always prefer buying used books over new books if there is a good copy of an of a book available as a used copy rather than as a new copy i'll prefer the used copy because it's far more cheaper in rate and it is also that sometimes there might be uh, how to say really good uh, vibes in the book because the person who owned it they might have read it they might have liked it or not it doesn't matter but uh, the book has found its way to you uh, after being sold by a person who doesn't like it that much so always used books are special and I love buying them and it is also one of the best ways to save money while buying books my tip number three is to buy books only during specific uh, times during the year now I usually buy books during these times of the years when uh, it is a new year or when it is Diwali especially and when it is uh, Independence Day when it is um, how to say uh, National Book Day or something like that because during that times the prices of the books come down to such an extent but uh, you have to keep one thing in mind which I'll be discussing further on in the video because uh, when you try to uh, buy books online and search for books during specific uh, sales times alone uh, there is a greater chance that you might be uh, how to say uh, you might be told lies to or uh, your ma money might be taken from you without your knowledge itself so you have to follow sites and uh, you have to buy uh, books only during sales times only then you'll be able to buy a lot more books with a far uh, less price my tip number four uh, always when there's a book fair or book sale that is going near your locality don't miss it at all because uh, most of the books which i own are from book sales and book fairs alone because uh, all book sales or book fairs not book fairs in general but book sales they'll always have used books in a very very vast collection and you'll be able to get really 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 good books there uh, i remember because last december i went to book choose lock the box uh, and you won't believe me for four four thousand rupees okay for four thousand rupees i was able to buy 45 books which is not at all possible while you buy it uh, buy books is you uh, sorry new copies uh, from online websites like amazon or flipkart because uh, they always mostly sell new books and new books are not at all cheap when it comes to price and you won't believe me because uh, of the 40 books 45 books that i bought 20 were hard covers okay hard covers are totally so so expensive but when it comes to sales like this one they are just scattered around okay you can just collect them and uh, pile them together it will not at all cost a lot uh, i'm sure that if i had uh, bought that amount of 45 books uh, as new copies using any other website rather than the book sale or book uh, fair which I visited 
uh, I would have spent at least 15 to 20 thousand rupees just for those 45 books but while visiting this I was able to save uh, nearly 10 to 15 thousand rupees right it is not at all uh, even possible for me to think uh, investing that much in buying books but due to visiting book fairs and book sales I was able to buy a large collection of books for a very very uh, low amount of money it just cost me like one quarter of what I must have actually spent right so always go and visit book fairs and book sales when you have anything near you tip number five this is also a very effective one because uh, we will be visiting these places daily on a daily basis uh, for sure because everyone is on social media Instagram and Facebook these are the main sources which I'm talking about today always always keep this in mind and follow uh, bookstagram and uh, bookstagram accounts in Instagram and uh, book related pages in Facebook because there are a lot of groups and pages in Facebook that are solely dedicated for books and book lovers alone uh, there are multiple people who are posting things in those websites every day and I'm sure that if you are uh, going through websites like that you will be getting a lot of information regarding uh, book sales going on even uh, two or three days before I saw this uh, book sale going in bookshore and uh, if you buy a certain amount of books for uh, sorry uh, an amount of books for a certain amount of money you'll be getting a free book in hardcover I also put that in my uh, Instagram account so those people who are following me that are interested in buying those books they can uh, go and check it uh, check in, uh, in that in that website so I always do that and I highly suggest you to do this because uh, uh, there are two ways you are getting benefited at the same time you are uh, providing your attention to some uh, bookstagram account or Facebook page who are trying to give something to this community okay so always uh, do follow Facebook groups Facebook pages and most importantly Instagram bookstagram accounts because they are very much useful when it comes to buying books at very low prices tip number six this is one of the main uh, things which you have to follow if you want to uh, save a lot of money while doing uh, while buying books and I have found this happening a lot okay because I always do this so I always find uh, great differences in price when it comes to this if you're deciding to buy a book uh, just while seeing uh, you'll ha you'll have an amount in your mind right uh, if I think that this book is going to cost me like 300 rupees I'll go to Amazon and ju I'll just check it if it costs like uh, 250 rupees there I'll obviously try to buy it from there but before buying that what I do always is I refer other sites also uh, other source of, uh, sources which can offer me books like Bookchore and Flipkart. Uh, if the price is less than uh, 250 rupees in any of the other two websites, I'm obviously going to buy it from those two because I'll be able to, uh, how to say, save that amount of money and it, it might seem like 10 or 20 rupees, okay, just 10 or 20 rupees while you're buying the book. But when you just add on to this completely <clears throat> over a period of time, uh, just imagine you're buying uh, 500 you're buying books for 500 rupees and if you had bought that from another website it might have costed you 450 rupees if you practice this continuously for a period of like four to five months it is going to generate a huge amount right you'll be having four uh, 250 to 500 rupees in your hand using which you can buy uh, another setting of books or another batch of books so always refer to multiple sources while you're buying a single book and don't just go for the first source which comes to your mind and uh, where you see the least amount okay always compare contrast and then buy your books tip number seven this is a tip which uh, I have not experienced but uh, I have seen some of my friends using this and it has been very much profitable for them and I've also seen many booktubers and bookstagrammers having uh, bought books like this that is buy books by weight uh, it is not available that much in Chennai where I live but it is uh, available in many other parts of India like Delhi and Mumbai uh, the concept is just that you'll be having a pile of books they'll be piling up books uh, in different places and for each and every pile there will be a price that is if you pick up uh, this uh, how to say uh, one kg of books from pile a costs 100 rupees or one kg of uh, books from pile b costs uh, 150 rupees another uh, kg of books from pile c might cost 250 rupees this is usually stacked on based on the uh, stacked based on the uh, quality of the books the uh, books uh, quality might be based on the format also um, cheaper books might be paperbacks uh, costlier books might be hardbacks so that you'll not be able to uh, how to say you might be uh, wanting to buy two paperbacks but uh, sorry two hardbacks but uh, those two hardbacks might come over the limit of uh, one kilogram but uh, it is very much profitable if you ask me rather than buying new books if you're going to uh, buy books by weight you'll be saving a lot of money and there's also a huge prob probability that uh, you can uh, make out lot more uh, than you plan with uh, the same amount of money that you have planned tip number eight this is a tip which i said before that i'll be uh, talking on about later and always do follow this uh, if you are planning to buy a book 
don't just go with the impulse and just buy it then, then and there okay add the book to your cart or to your wish list and let it be that uh, i'll uh, prefer preferably say cart because you'll be able to uh, check it on a daily basis i always do this there are at least like 200 to 300 books in my amazon cart always i always put them in save for later and i just uh, check out the prices every day if suppose a book's price goes down to like 200 300 rupees rather than the normal price on a particular day i don't think at all i just buy the book uh, there have been multiple books which i have bought in that way you see the game of thrones collection right here right uh, it cost 4000 rupees okay and uh, during an independence day sale what what happened means i was having it in my cart with save it later and i usually daily i go and check if the book's price have come down or not one day what happened for that particular day alone um they just uh, brought down the price from 4000 rupees to 1600 rupees i just didn't think at all i just spoke with my uh, with my brother as i was not working then i spoke with him and he also said that it was a very good deal and we didn't we didn't think at all we just bought it then because uh, after that ever after that it's been like more than 2 years since i bought this set uh, i have not at all seen the price of game of thrones books dropping down less than 3000 or 300 uh, 3500 rupees ever during any sale that was the only time it was available for 1600 rupees I, and i didn't uh, miss that the main reason why i didn't miss that was because i i had the books in my cart and i was uh, frequently checking the price of the books uh, it's not that adding the books to your cart alone can save you money you have to check it on a daily basis in order to know if the books price is coming down every day and if it uh, comes down to a very sufficient and uh, reasonable amount in a single day don't think at all just go and buy it the first eight tips which i said were uh, predominantly for buying a uh, physical books at low rates that is a uh, physical copies of books in uh, low rates these two which i'm going to say in the last are uh, digital formats of books i always consider digital formats over uh, physical formats when it comes to price because they are the cheapest okay they are literally the cheapest and you'll be able to make a lot 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 more compared to the amount of buying physical books it's just that you'll not be having the books present in your home or with you you'll not be possessing the book but uh you would have read or listened to the book and uh, you would have gained a lot from it the first one that is the tip number 9 which i'm uh, saying is that always try and uh, have a audiobook subscription going on with you always okay um, i highly suggest uh, storytel because it just costs 2.99 per month and it uh, sums up to just 10 rupees per day right and uh, you'll be getting access to over uh, how to say i think they are having like nearly a million books right now and the the how to say the collection is so so vast guys you can book uh, find books in almost every category most of the famous books are there most of the classics are there you'll not be uh, wasting your money at all if you are having uh, audiobook subscriptions going on i'd also suggest audible but uh, audible is preferable only if you're um, okay with buying books because in storytel you it's a kind of a streaming service you cannot buy the books from storytel but you know, when it comes to audible you cannot stream the books you can just buy them and I'm sure that these both are uh, very much handy when it comes to saving a lot of money in uh, buying books. Tip number ten that I'm saying is for e-books. For e-books, I'd uh, highly suggest you to go to Kindle. Just install the Kindle app, and without even spending a single rupee or single cent from your pocket, you will be able to get at least five to ten books. Just uh, sort the books in price from uh, low to high, and you uh, there will be books popping up in the top of the list, uh, rated zero rupees. That is, you need not have a uh, how to say prime account you need not have a kindle unlimited uh, subscription or anything you can just go click on it and buy it for free okay while you have such facilities available i highly suggest you to use them and if you're okay with spending money a small amount of min, uh, money per month on that uh, i'd also suggest you to use uh, kindle uh, kindle unlimited because kindle unlimited has a really really vast uh, vast uh, collection of books guys i have not used kindle unlimited yet because uh, yet because i don't have a kindle uh, i cannot read a lot of books on my phone because my eyes i uh, strain a lot you can just see right <laughs> with all these spectacles now so it's tough for me to read from the phone always uh, but <laughs> i do it uh anyways and i don't do it to such an extent but when i buy a kindle i will be having a kindle unlimited uh, subscription for sure and i'd highly suggest you to do that if you're having a kindle or uh, any other type of e reader because if you're not using that you're missing out a lot and also if you're having a prime account i've told this like a million times in my channel before do in the uh, install the kindle app and just go to the kindle uh, prime sorry prime reading tab in kindle and just read those books there is there are like very 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 good books available in uh, kindle prime reading and they are just available for free okay you'll be able to access those books for a very long period of time that is 2 to 3 months 
two over a two nearly a year okay uh, so if you're having prime please do use that and don't waste your money because that's that's what uh, matters okay for just a thousand rupees of subscription you are going to get free deliveries you're going to get uh, access to movies and films and tv shows and everything and apart from that you are also having three months of uh, free credits and audible and also a year full of prime reading okay <laughs> it's it, it might seem like i'm uh, marketing for uh, amazon right now but i'm using all these facilities uh, almost all of my data is there with amazon right now it's not a good thing but uh, i'd highly suggest you to use all those things when you have access to them because they are available for free don't waste them that's all i can say Okay, so those were all my 10 tips in order to buy books at low prices or books in a cheap way. If you found this video interesting, enjoyable and also useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends so they can also be benefited from this. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you want to get more content from me. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.